Hello, Taurus, and welcome to your mid-month reading. This is for Taurus. All right, Taurus, let's get into it. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Taurus, please do check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Taurus out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. This is for Taurus. This is for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Let's see. Oh. Okay. You need a little courage. Ooh, this the path that leads to commitment. That's what you you're just getting ready to step in. Um, not seeing a lot of pinnacles here, okay? Um, but I do see uh, maybe a move coming up for you. Um, I do want to touch base on like career. I see. Uh, if anything, I see there's a loss of something that's going to be replaced by something more fulfilling, but you may be moving to obtain it, and that's going to take, you know, a lot of courage and strength to do so, but it's part of, um, it's part of your path, right? It's part of your fate. It's part of your destiny. This is the wheel of fortune. Um, so moving forward towards this new thing um, is definitely where it's at. There's going to be loads of celebration. Um, if you don't have to move, your ha your home is stabilizing. So that's beautiful. A lot of joy coming to your house in regards to a new opportunity. Whether it's, you have to move for it or not, your house is stabilizing. And that's... Uh, it's a really good thing. It is going to require change, however. All right, so let us get into the love reading. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or somebody with Sagittarius in their chart. I feel like you have been patient with yourself in regards to healing from the past. The past you know, there may be, may have been a possible chance at reconciliation, but I feel it's, you're just kind of done. It's like you've changed your mind. You're healing from it and you're ready to move forward. This new situation that's going to be presented to you, this is going to be your something better. And this person is very healing for you, Taurus. So, what the deal is with the past person was that they had this very inconsistent up and down. It was a roller coaster ride of an energy. I strongly feel with that three of swords there that they brought other people into the equation and it absolutely broke your heart. So it's time to heal and release and to start prepare for preparing for new. It's it's you're making space for the new, and this new is. Is your good fortune is your blessing okay for a lot of karmic lessons that you've learned with this player type energy right here knight of wands so you've been worried about the past that's done but you're gonna be real nervous about this new person they're gonna shake you they're here to wake you up and shake your soul and get you out of some sort of funk you've been in all right this is a blessing and you're you're gonna go for it. I feel like you're gonna overthink it, you're gonna panic, but at the end of the day, you're gonna find your courage and strength to go with the flow of uh, these universal blessings that are being given to you, Taurus. Nine of Swords. Here you are. So you're gonna be like, should I, shouldn't I? Are they into me, are they not? It's going to just flow. So stop worrying so much. Stop worrying so much. Stop negotiating in, in your mind. 
right? So you get off the roller coaster and just go with the flow, right? Um, I feel like the past really did a number on you. They were um, a habitual fence setter. They kept you, uh, they always kept you guessing, kept you wondering, kept kept everything in the air. Like I said, I feel like it, they brought other people into the equation and it absolutely just destroyed you. It broke your heart. This, this new person isn't like that. This new person is like your reward for the karmic shit that you've had to deal with. So here they come. Ace of Cups. Very fulfilling. Here's your blessing. Here's your blessing, right? From that invisible, th this hand that is attached to some sort of invisible body. This is a blessing from the divine. And it's going to be very fulfilling for you, right? So you got a new beginning in love. The challenge is your past broken heart, your scars. So this is, I feel like you've had some quiet time. Like you've had a moment to really process this pain Come to terms with it, but it's also left your confidence in the toilet. Okay, this player type energy that drove you absolutely out of your mind left so many scars on your heart and, and just destroyed your confidence. Plain and simple. So you're going to figure this out, and I feel like that's where this comes in. This is kind of the advice is... You still got it going on, Taurus, right? You're still this beautiful being, and this person coming in for you is going to be so attracted, not only to you physically, but just your energy. You could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with Leo in their chart. So you're going to be <sighs> strengthening yourself, not only on, on the inside, but the outside, so that you're, you're ready. You're ready for these blessings. You're ready for your fate. You're ready for your destiny. That wheel of fortune there. So everything is going to go in your favor. There's a twist here. And there needs to be. And you're going to land right here. Celebrating a commitment with this new situation that's coming in for you. If they're not already here. So this is your blessing. This is your gift for passing a lot of difficult tests. And it's beautiful. And so this is your next big commitment with that Four of Wands right there. Please clarify the Four of Wands for Taurus. This is for Taurus. Let's see. So huge change. Very different from from what you're used to. This person is very smart. They're grown. They're very funny. They're going to be able to talk to you forever and ever. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. You could be dealing with an air sign, male or female. Um, completely different than what you were dealing with. So you it's you chose a very difficult karmic road, but it kind of had to be done in order for you to reap, reap the rewards of these blessings. There's your son. There's your new beginning. So this person is here to change your entire life. And that is scary. Please clarify the strength card for Taurus. But it will be okay. Look at that. If you, if, listen, if you want your wish fulfillment, if you want your cups to be fulfilled, have the courage and strength to follow your heart and <laughs> that angelic guidance, those signs, right? We got the lovers here. This one's for you, Taurus. You be dealing with the Gemini. Have the courage to follow your heart. And get those cups fulfilled. Because this one is very different. This one is special. This one is brought to you 
by the universe, by the higher power. So, scary, yeah. Comes with a lot of change, but it's kind of like, thank God. Right? Thank God they come with a lot of change. Very smart. They're very, very intelligent person. And they're going to make you laugh a lot. Okay. And um, you may find them a little bit like intimidating. Um, but they're, they're hard on the outside and soft on the inside. That's what I want to say. So... It'll be okay. You're really going to enjoy this person. All right, Taurus, that's what's going on. I hope that resonates with um, some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Rumble. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week. And I will talk to you soon. Take care and God bless.